How's it going everybody? John McLennan here and in today's video we're doing another lesson on how to play Light My Fire by The Doors on guitar. So, so far on my channel we did a lesson on the organ intro, which is that classic part played by Ray Manzarek. We transcribed it and learned how to play that line on guitar. Then I did another lesson covering Robbie Krieger's guitar part and just all the chords so you can go through the entire song and play it top to bottom. And now this is is probably the final lesson on this song and we're gonna cover the melody so a lot of times at the beginning of my videos I'll open up just jamming on the melody of the song and so I have to find a way of playing the vocal line on the guitar so imagining that I'm Jim Morrison or whatever band it is the lead singer of that band and I'm trying to play their vocal part on guitar and it's a great exercise to do it's going to help your lead playing and it's just going to help you know the song on a deeper level so that's what we're going to do in today's video i'm going to break down the melody for this song but before we dive into it i want to hook you up with something right away at the first link down below i've got a sample pack of tabs that i want to give you and these are just some tabs that go along with lessons here on my youtube channel so if you get a lot of value out of my lessons just watching them, you're gonna get a ton more out of actually seeing written out things that I play and examples and just more of my approach to a lot of these songs. So check that out at the first link down below. And with that said, let's break this song down. Let's break down how to play the melody to Light My Fire by The Doors on guitar. Now, I already have a lesson up going over the changes, but I'm just gonna review those quick. We've got an A minor seven, down to an F sharp minor seven. It's basically one bar on each chord. Now the melody, the first part, the verse is gonna start off like this. So a lot of this is coming straight out of your minor pentatonic scale, your A minor pentatonic. But we're also going to mix in the ninth of the chord. So we're going to start on the seventh fret of the fourth string and play seven. Then we'll skip to five on the next string. And we're going to go back and forth, five, seven, five, seven. Then we'll go five, four, then seven on the fourth string so and the rhythm is three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four so we're coming in on the and of four you know that it would be untrue and I'm kind of keeping those notes a little staccato you can kind of phrase it like that and these two notes are in your minor pentatonic, but then this note is actually the note B, which makes it kind of a jazzier sound, right? Makes the chord like an A minor nine. And then we move down to that F sharp minor, but Jim Morrison is singing this note, so, so it's the uh, third of of the F sharp minor, so it's the note A. So they happen to be in two different keys, but Jim always ends up on a note that transitions and works in the next chord as well, so. Then we do that again. Okay, then we're gonna do it, but with a slight variation. The first variation we're gonna do is we're not gonna go we're not going to have that pickup. We're just going to go. Okay, so that's back and forth between five here and seven. Then jump up one string. Five, seven. Okay, that's all pure pentatonic. All those notes right there. And then we do the same melody as the first melody, but we leave off the pickup. 
So there's a little theme here, not a lot of notes, and it just goes to show you with a couple notes here, the right rhythms and the right ideas, you can make a lot of great music. So I'll put all that together from the top. It's gonna go one, and two, and three, and four. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna bring in a little bit of the backing chords so you can hear what that sounds like. Here we go. Then we get to the chorus. Now the chorus melody is very simple. It's just, come on baby, light my fire. Okay, very simple here. So what I like to do is actually play it in octaves. I think that gets a pretty cool sound, a little a la West Montgomery. So what I'm doing there is playing the fifth fret on the fifth string and I'll, I'll show you just the basic way first so that's five 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 four four and then five on the fifth string come on baby line my fire now if i did that in octaves i would add an eight on the second string that's my octave shape there okay five down to four and then five and seven but i came up one string then we do it again come on baby light my fire then the band goes plays a b chord there and then we go try to set the night on fire okay so that's same as before but then instead of going to d we go to e and the band's on e chords in the chorus come on baby light my fire then we're back to right the verse part so all together the chorus goes like this A one two three four Rhythm there on the end. One and two and three and rest. One, two. All right, so I'm going to put all this together one time so you can hear what the verse and the chorus melodies sound like together over the changes. Here we go. One and two and three and four. <laughs> Have fun practicing the melody to Light My Fire by The Doors on guitar. Make sure to take it slow, work it out section by section. And be sure to check out the other videos as well if you haven't learned the chords or that intro lead part that is the organ part. You'll want to learn that as well. And just the more you can dive into these songs and take them apart, it's just going to help your playing so much and you're going to learn a lot about music and have fun in the process. So before you go, don't forget to pick up my free tab sample pack at the first link down below. Again, these are free tabs that go along with some of my lessons here on YouTube. So if you get value out of just watching the videos you're going to get a ton more out of having some written down examples of some of the lessons thanks for your support here on the channel subscribing hitting the thumbs up button leave any song requests in the comments below and we'll see you in the next video mm -hmm.